Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm glad that you made it back to us here on the channel. Today, we're going to be playing Warlocks versus Shadows. Um, yeah, this is more of a multiplayer game, but I am going solo. I do not have anybody here to play with me. I'm not even doing like a magic trick where I'm going to go and then four people up here. I am actually playing it alone. Uh, but I will survive. We will enjoy. We're going to check this out. Uh, from what I could tell, it was almost like a uh, scrolling Contra-esque brawler. I'm curious to find out more. Loading. Loading. Warlocks versus Shadows. Loading. Loading. Warlocks versus Shadows. Alright, I honestly thought it would actually load by the time I did the second lap of that particular phrase. But uh, I don't want to do it a third time because I feel like the joke's kind of played out, so... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Orlock vs. Shadows. Good tunes, man. Good tunes! Horde mode. Every game needs a horde mode. Uh, let's bring this down a tiny touch just for audio levels. And uh, we'll jump into story mode. Yes. Single local multiplayer? Alright, so single player. So there is actually a single player storm mode for this one. There is a designed... I actually saw this and I thought it was for uh, multiplayers. So we got Rainer the Guardian, Jake the Pyromancer, Anya the Ice Mistress, Borobar, Bugbear Warrior. A Bugbear Warrior? Nice. Uh, Kira the Shamaness. And Sardonic the Beast Wizard. <sighs> um... Of all the characters that are there, I normally play the females. I would always play a female character, so it would either be Anya or uh, Kira. But the base wizard, he calls to me. Zordonic. Zordonic, the base wizard. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> I like it. Oh, nice. You can dash through. And triangle. Sorry, <laughs> he's the fact that he's a base wizard. That's actually <laughs> I get too much joy out of that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The adventure begins. There comes a danger from the outer worlds. A meteor. It's not an ordinary meteor, though. It's actually a monster from another dimension. Its goal is to infect our world with shadows, evil creatures from the shadow world. Most powerful warlocks were core. Most powerful warlocks were called to arms to face the threat. The enemies are def deadly, and utmost care will be required to beat them. Future of our planet lies in your hands. Eep. That was actually unbelievably gratifying already. Oh shit. <laughs> I leveled up already. Oh shit. Okay, so if it's really, I'll now pay parsimony and skill. Right, so it actually powers up each one of those as they go along. I've gotcha. So you level up individually. Thank you. 
What is this? Ah! Ow! Can I pick that up? R1 to pick up? Uh, okay. Ah! Okay. So I'm getting this now. I'm actually getting the fact that you do. It takes a while to level up your character and you have to fight wave after wave. I actually like that. The, there is a... Oh! <laughs> oh, there's actually a... I'm just taking pleasure in you getting used to the controls of this. I'm getting this now. I'm getting the rhythm of actually what you hit there. <laughs> Whenever it's like joke, there's actually a rhythm. There is an actual rhythm to this. So, uh, so as you spawn past each section, you kind of move on to the next part. So that was stage one, one out of the way. I can approve of this. Oh, okay. They're gonna spawn ones in from the outside, aren't they? Deep. Die. I like that. That was actually kind of nice. <laughs> I'm going to do that more often. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, shit. Oh! Die. <laughs> nice. Oh. Need to heal up. Ah! Nice. Okay. I think I'm getting here. See, I'm realizing that the cable ball is better off to actually be dropping on top of things because it actually does uh, multiple hits. Boom! <laughs> oh, there's something up there? Right. So it gives me an excuse to actually go for the head and stuff. This is, I'm really enjoying the hell out of this, guys. This is actually a lot of fucking fun. 
I can imagine this being unbelievably fun to play whenever you're playing multiplayer. Um, the amount of crazy shit that could be all firing on screen at once. And it appears to be a large selection of character types. The, obviously, um, I'm enjoying myself as the base wizard, just because of that one base move that he has. But um, outside of that, I'm um, curious what the other ones are actually playable like. This is going to get more and more hectic as it goes along, I'm sure, as well. Oh, God. We have one of 12. Not fun. Cover, baby. Sleeve. Here in the fucking space. I got this, I got this. Beast Wizards got this. Oh shit! Boom! You ain't got shit on me! I just got this, I've got this one spot there that I'm actually not gonna fucking leave for this entire section. Two more waves, folks. Two more waves. <laughs> uh, it, do it does feel like this is actually got. This is very roguelike in it, but it's actually like I'm leveling up as progress. And I'm wondering if the leveling actually keeps from round to round, because I feel I'm actually doing a pretty good job of getting this guy up to level five as it is now in this first try of playing the game. No match for me. No match 
for me. So level up the skill. Boom. <laughs> oh, cool. Merchant. Time to go and spend some money. Okay, so what does this stuff do? Oh, it increases, um... So does this actually, is this a permanent increase, or am I changing that every time I buy something? Hmm. Oh, is Alright, so that's the merchant. So this is the stuff that I have. Or can I use these things? Ugh, it's so weird, I don't actually know what, what way this works out. Spawns explosion. Bam! Ooh! I like that. Well, I only have about 400, so I need to keep it to actually something sensible. Um, so I have these to sell, but I'm assuming these are actually things that I, I'm currently... St I don't know if these are stacked and used by me. That's what I'm curious about. Um, let's see, is there anything really worth grabbing? It's reasonably cheap. Nah, nothing really. Might just keep my money for the next few well. Yeah. I'm good for now. I don't understand the trading system, so if I don't understand the trading system, I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, thank you very much for the new follow. Uh, who was it that actually new followed? Uh, Cast Badger. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> Cast Badger. I don't care about the numbers after your name, but thank you very much for following. Yeah, this Cast Badger. Or Cast Badge. All right, I was wondering there. Oh, beholder! Fuck you, beholder! Oh shit, no, didn't really help too much. They're right there in front of me. I need to get around to the other side here. I'm sure it's going to be a better spot. Yeah, there we go. Better spot. Best spot. There's a good spot. Ah! Ah! Dropped the top of his head.
<laughs> oh, that feels gratifying. Yeah, I'm getting into this. I'm actually really getting into Warlocks and Shadows, man. Like, I could really play the shitload of this. Especially, this is the story mode, and I'm actually kind of like, feel like I'm making a massive progress for it to be in stage one uh, for my first try in it. And I really don't want to put it down. And that is a sign of a good game, man. Whenever you literally just don't want to stop. Ah. Uh, screw it. I'll have to be a thump it. Oh, there's obviously no more guys over here. Up, oh, up. Paying more attention, but yeah, 256 killed. Ah, uh, and it just it literally it just wants you to iterate back in again. It wants you to hit X to restart the level immediately afterwards. This is actually ah uh, no 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 no. I need to change warlocks. I need to step away from this for a second because I've actually just dropped time into it, and I'm actually I think that that was just pure enjoyment of play. And I could imagine it being very different mattering on the card that you get, and there's one that you're going to lock along the way. So I actually took Zardonic, the base wizard, up to level seven on that first try. Uh, let's try one of the girls. I'm going to try, uh, the, I just imagine the ice cream's going to be very similar, but we'll give her a try. Oh, I'm just going to jump in with her and talk about my feelings with this game as we go along. Yeah, uh, tutorial, yeah, I know. Right, yes. Oh, uh, God, it's going to make me do the tutorial for each one of these. Yeah, so that was ice. That's uh, freezy. That's her ice slide. And that's her explodey. Okay, so that's interesting. Ah, man, that's cool. I'm enjoying this. The adventure begins. Danger. There was a meteorite. It has shadows. Kill everything. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> Ooh, dang! Oh, yeah. Cruzy death. Oh, nice. Once they're frozen, then she actually can cast a big spell on them. Yeah. I get it! <laughs> I get her spells. I'm getting the context of the combat now for some of these characters, the way they play. Uh, and each one of them is going to play very, very differently. And if you're playing with friends, it'll actually make a lot more sense. <sighs> That's cool. I can get on board with this. <sighs> and the Frozen actually just builds up. Jeez. 
she slows down the enemies too. So useful. Each player, each character does play differently. I've already noticed a massive difference, even though she is just got a projectile and then explode and everything else. The AoE from the base effect, I don't have that now, but I do have this kind of crash down, which does a lot more damage on a number of enemies that you've already hit with it. So you, the whole point is to level up and uh, combine these skills. So her crash down is going to be a good way to clear people out after you've frozen them. Uh, there's gameplay technique to each of these characters now, and I'm already on board with it. Close, up close she does a lot more damage because of her multi-shot being uh, no longer spread. <laughs> oh man, that feels good. Ah, damn it. Her really low, her um, close, kind of like cast is not brilliant. Ah, now there is her cast speed. I'm on the bet she's not a bit more squishy as well from all some than some others. Oh, explosion to the face! Gotta beat that. On board, on board with this game in so many ways. And I, I can just see that it, there's a probably. There's a lot more replayability for this in multiplayer than it is actually even in single. so into this game and I can highly recommend it like I just wholeheartedly immediately feel comfortable enough for a recommendation of this game for other people to check out Wizards vs Shadows is such a simple looking game with a lot of immediate fun involved um, maybe you're you might find some of the simplicity a little bit of a problem and also the lack of an independent jump button I'm I'm not too sure I like the up for jump but I do like down for drop <laughs> you know it's like, it makes sense, it makes absolute sense, but it feels like uh, sometimes you're gonna be jumping, especially with the analog stick, unintentionally in the middle of combat. Uh, maybe if you're, especially if you're an awkward player plus, you only have dropping down and then jumping back up again. You can actually end up causing yourself to come back up to the place that you're just trying to get away from immediately. So there's a lot of, there's there's a little bit of controlled configure kind of awkwardness in this, but otherwise this is actually so much fun to play. And, all right, so now I can actually, I can actually check to see for the equipping, yeah. So that's what it is. It actually, like, I, I wasn't even using the equipping there at all. There's a whole equipment section here where you actually be grabbing the stuff that you have. So I was, like, picking up stuff and not using it. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the, um, base wizard because he, he's the one who actually was most appropriate for this. And hello to the chat as well. Who's that actually in? Uh, VCPK. How's it going, VCPK? We're playing, uh, Warlock vs. Shadows, and I've been enjoying the hell out of this so far. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so obviously I, I have auto-equipped things. Because they are, uh, once I pick up one of that item, it'll automatically equip it in. But then there's alternates that are here as well. There you go. Actually, there's ones that are actually of a better quality. Increased chance of critical. <sighs> wow. And there was a lot of improvement I could have made from any of the stuff that I already had there. Man, there is there is a lot of fun play in this. <laughs> yes, man. Hey, I, I do remember you actually. Um, thank you very much for coming back. Uh, you're actually one of the few YouTube viewers because that's the reason why I remember you because of, like, it matters, it's like it rotates around. There's a couple of guys on Twitch. There's a couple of guys on 
uh, Mob Crush. In fact, a couple of the guys on Twitch are the same guy on Mob Crush. Uh, they, of course, the people who are on Mixer. So I, I recognize most of you guys because there's not that many people who come to check out the live stream. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done with um, playing this for now because <sighs> the, this is so much fun. Um, highly recommend Warlock for Shadows for a pickup. It's fun and ass game. It's on PC as well as on console. And um, it's multi local multiplayer, which is a sell point to me on most games in general, but especially with something like this. I'm looking forward to actually getting some people around and actually having a mixture of those spells together and see what the combat is like whenever there's a number of... Um, whenever there's a number of different kind of like elements being used all at the same time. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've actually enjoyed my excitement for playing this and actually you'll get your own excitement for actually playing it in your own hands. It's a fun game. Music's cheesy and fun. It reminds me a lot of Amiga, Amiga era games, from the music to the graphical style, but it has that soft flow that we have for modern games doing a retro style. Like It doesn't feel clunky, it feels quick and responsive, but um, no, there's no but. It's just quick and responsive and actually feels uh, gratifying to play. You just have to be very mindful of your health bar because it is so small on the screen. You can get very easily messed up and confused with the amount of stuff that's going on all at once. So uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed my commentary on it, then please do the whole like, comment, subscribe, all that <laughs> malarkey, whatever one actually suits for where you happen to be watching this. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a button up there. I would really appreciate you hitting. And there will be a box here for playlists for cold opens here on the channel. Over on the far side will be actually the most recent upload on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube and your cookies and all the other details. It'll pick a video that you will enjoy based on what I've done here on the channel. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.